Yo, what up guys? So today I'm gonna be doing like my own little personal experiment here. Uh, I just wanted to basically compare patches. This is the TBS patch. It's a 5.8 gig, 5 dBi patch, and it's very good. Uh, I had the original version that wasn't like, had the other SMA where you have to have the other, whatever you call it, you know, yeah, whatever. Anyways, it seems to have like a very, very good range on it. The, uh, morning. All right, so the other antenna that I've been using quite a bit is this guy here. This this one obviously will get further. This is a 13 dBi uh, crosshair antenna. And the thing I want to really check is not like really comparing the two, but how much this little guy can get as far as this guy. So I have a distance that's over here. I'm going to show you guys in a second. I know for sure I've used the... Uh, the sniper from True RC, I could easily get out over a mile. It's a it's a mile, it's over a mile to the end of this field. Even though right now it's a little bit more overgrown, I definitely know I could get out pretty far. So I just want to compare. Like I said, it's per personal experience, a uh, personal experiment of how far I could kind of go with this guy because I haven't really seen its exact range so far. So that'll let me know when I should really use this guy. And when I should use this guy, I know this guy's good for everything like short little freestyle areas that I go fly, like bandos, stuff like that, everything. This is this is more than enough. This is perfect. Everyone should have one of these in their bag. This guy, I feel the same with. Um, this is like a mid-range uh, type of antenna. So if you're flying like up in the hills and stuff and you want like mid-range, that's what I feel like this guy is. So I want to see how far I could get out. And the sniper patch, that big one that I use, you guys see me use that quite a bit of times. That's just like, I could go range with that. And and mind you, I'm using all this stuff on the LaForge. This isn't with a uh, ground station. So uh, the LaForge V3, the power of the uh, LaForge is pretty good. So, and I've just been using one of these random uh, Pagoda antennas lately instead of the Mad Mushroom. Uh, I've been testing out that. I feel like the fact that it's exactly, you know, made on a board might change something even though I do like uh, man-made antennas like the Mad Mushroom and like the uh, wherever it's at this guy I feel like this tuned antenna does very well for the uh, the crossfire so oh yeah shout out to Robbie for giving me this little guy on the back of here um, that helps me quite a bit <laughs> putting that thing on he saw I needed it but uh, cool let's get uh, batteries everything on and let's start doing these tests by the way, I almost forgot, if you look out in the distance, like way out there, that's usually where I go with a sniper antenna. It's like, it's pretty far out there. It's uh, we're a little, like when you start getting to those houses that are like right there. All right, so this first trip out, don't, don't mind the fox ear thing too. I forgot to take that off of there. But uh, we're gonna go straight out this way and kind of just see, this is with a TBS antenna. We're on 800 milliwatts. This is pretty solid so far. I could hear the diversity changing out on me. We're heading straight out. Wow. Shit, Trappy. I am impressed, okay. We're just starting to get a little break up. Way out there is usually where the sniper one goes. Gonna go up a little. That'll help with this. Okay, this is far. This is like sniper territory. <laughs> I did not think I'd make it out this far. running over there. So I, I knew this patch was good. Just didn't know it was that good. Mind you, uh, we are facing the other direction with the antenna now. So if you see any breakup, it could very well be why. Looking good. All right, so we'll bring this back 
in. And we'll switch over to the uh, 2RC antenna. I'm so impressed with this right now. I'm stoked. Oh, God. That went so much further than I would have thought. That is awesome. All right, so test number two going down right now. This is with the uh, True RC CP patch. And we're gonna head out also. This is like an optimal day to do this stuff too. It's like super clear. Now this one, granted, has a lot wider beam. And, um, A lot higher uh, gain antenna so they are definitely different like I said this is just for my own experiment I'm not like doing a comparison like versus this one to the other one but uh, man both these antennas are doing excellent I am pretty far out here again yeah these could definitely this one I feel a lot more confident it stayed clear this whole way So you know guys, this is uh, over a mile out. So we're, we're gonna head back. I'm super happy with both of these. Let's see if we could see this, this beam. Let's see how low we could get if I could rage down this. Let's see how low we could go here. Uh, without fell safing also. I think I only have, I don't have this thing cranked up. There's that guy. I don't want to scare him. Let's not do that. Let's be mindful of the peeps. Of the peeps running around. So that way I can keep always flying here without any one getting pissed off or complaining about me. So see, see how I was getting static on the edge over here? That's because uh, that's the beam width little outside of it there. All right, so that experiment went way better than I was even hoping for. I mean, this uh, True RC antenna, I I was expecting good things from it anyways. I like True RC's products, and I knew it was pretty good. Uh, like you saw, it lost a little bit on the sides just because of the beam width, but uh, for what I'm using it for, going up in the hills and everything, it's perfect for that. It definitely had the range to go all the way out there. This little guy. Trappy, you were blowing me away with this guy for a uh, 5 dBi little patch. This thing is so solid. Um, it's so cheap too. Like, I'm surprised this isn't sold out on the TBS site. I actually should get some more before uh, this this stuff is sold out. Um, super awesome. That went hella far. I'm so happy right now with with both of these antennas. Um, 
I don't even know which one I'm gonna use now because they're both so good. Obviously, I think I'm gonna stick to like short to mid-range, <laughs> for sure mid-range. Uh, mid-range, pushing a little bit longer range and the sniper for, you know, going hella far. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys dug this little experiment of mine. Like I said, it wasn't like a comparison video. It didn't even have to be. They both performed so good. But uh, yeah, if you like this type of stuff, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock.